All right, I want to reopen that file that I just saved. So I'm going to click on File, Open Recent, and here it is, Design on Photo. And here's my design that I was working on. Now before I leave this room, I'm going to name this canvas. Up here you see this tab here, it says Untitled. Well you can name that particular canvas. I'm just going to double click on the tab and type in the word DEN and hit the Enter key. There, now this canvas is called DEN. I'm going to create a second canvas in this file. A canvas is just like a page in a Word document. A Word document can have multiple pages. Well, a Dream Draper portfolio can have multiple canvases. So to create a second canvas, I'm going to click on this icon up here. There, and you see I've created my second canvas. I've got my den over here, and I've got my blank canvas over here. And I'm going to put a photo of a kitchen window on this canvas. So I'm going to double click up here on the tab and type in the word kitchen. And that's going to be the name of this canvas. Remember to hit the enter key after you type. There. Now I'm ready to insert another photo. So I'll click on my insert image icon. and I'm going to load that image, find it on my computer. And here we go. Here's my kitchen window. Then I'm going to click on the open button and I'll insert my image. There! Now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see my entire canvas area. Remember to click on this magnifying glass with the minus sign. That will zoom out. There. Again, this area here, this rectangular area, is my printed page. Now this photo is fairly large and it fills out the page nicely. I think I'll let it go. Yes, I could resize it larger, but I think this will work. And I do want to lock this photo in place. I'm going to open up my Layers window by putting my mouse over the Layers tab. And I like to keep my window open, so I'm going to click on this middle icon. And I will lock this layer. I'll click on this lock icon and great my layers locked. If I click on the photo my mouse does not detect it. And the next thing I want to do is I want to start designing on layer 2. So I will click on this plus sign down here to add a second layer. There! Here's my layer 2. It's highlighted and I'm ready to go. Now I wanted to work with this photo because it's a little bit more challenging as it is a wider window, which means I'm going to have to do a little bit more manipulation of my design to fit the wider window. And uh, what I'd like to do now is, you know what, I want to zoom back in on the window so I can see it a little bit better. I'm going to click on my magnifying glass, the one with the plus sign, and zoom in on that window. Alright, I want to go into my design library and again I'm going to go into the first category which is my designs with components. These are the finished designs and I think I'll go into swag designs and maybe a gathered swag design. All right. I think I would like to work with this one here. So let me close my browser window so I have more room. And I'm just going to drag this design onto the canvas. 
Now, again, remember, if you see the gold buttons, it's always a good idea to click on the gold buttons to see other variations or components of the treatment. And you can see that there are different variations and different components, different tails, different swags. But I think I'm going to work with this one here, so I'll close my browser window again. Now, what I could do, you know, when you bring a treatment onto the window and you have to resize it, you can do something like this. You can stretch it out this way. You can pull it down that way. I tend to not like to do that. Looking at the window, I'm not sure whether this window would look better with three swags on it or four swags on it. So I tend to resize first proportionately before I stretch the design out of shape. 